Skyler. Today I'm gonna have a look at Inatech HP 4009, which is USB 3.0 free port hub, and it also does have the magic port, and it supports OTG2, so you can connect it to the Android smartphone as well. So first and foremost, uh, you can use it um, to make your single USB port to become, you know, to support free USB ports. So you can connect to your same single port and you can then connect up to three different USB devices, which is quite cool. The second thing what you can do, you can use the, uh, this magic port here and then you can link your one Windows device, for example, to another Windows device. You can also link it to your Mac computer or you can link it to your Android smartphone too. And one of the coolest things that you can do is apparently you can move your mouse over from one device to another and you can copy and paste things from one device to another which can actually save you a lot of time. I've already tested and it works brilliantly actually. So today I'm going to do a few experiments here and right now I'm and um, first of all I'm going to tell you what you find in the box. In the box itself you find uh, the device itself then you will find uh, here additional USB cable and this small OTG connector to connect it to your Android device. So first of all we're going to connect it to uh, that laptop over there. So. Actually, that's very difficult to do it with a single hand as I'm holding the camera in the middle one. So there we go. Hold on. So I'm going to connect uh, my Lenovo laptop uh, with this uh, Samsung netbook. I'm going to see what's going to happen. It looks like I need to switch off the main light because otherwise. Uh, get into trouble. So there we go, it doesn't reflect the screen, it doesn't reflect the light anymore. So let's just connect it. First of all make sure you you do allow some time for each of the devices to install the drivers. So once you plug it in into USB port. So, so there we go. It is connected. It will install some. Obviously, I've already installed drivers, but when you're going to connect it the first time, it will begin to install the drivers. So, there we go. Let's go to the computer. So, it creates the two um, virtual drives here. You don't have to touch that one, but you will need to launch this um, Mac Cam link. So, make sure you launch that application on this computer and on another one as well. So let's connect it. So once the drive once the older driver installation has finished there, then proceed to this computer and connect it here. It will ask you to run Mac Cam Wink for the first time, make sure you do it and you run it so there we go it will tell you on this computer that the connection has been made you're ready to use the system now so you can also change the settings there so some of the things what you can change actually so you can see here you can control the keyboard and mouse you can change a hotkey um, to control it as well you can switch off the clipboard and do some other bunch of stuff. So that's fine. I don't want to change anything, so I'm going to cancel it. So let's see if it actually works, and it does. So and I'm not sure that you can see mouse here, but you can see I'm moving it uh, to the left. So and now it is here. I'm actually using my, you know finger on another laptop but the cursor is more another laptop so which is cool so I can go to here I can for example pick uh, 
let's say I want to copy some dance music or something like that so I just copy and then I just move mouse over to the right so where is the test folder and just quick paste so there we go, the transfer has begun so actually some Christmas songs from what I can see here so here we go, that's one of the ways you can actually transfer things from one laptop to another one uh, using this magical hub another thing you can do is connect to your smartphone so that's the second thing what you can do and yeah, it's actually another story Anyway, I'm just going to cancel this. But yeah, I just basically showed you that uh, what kind of thing, one of the things what you can do. If you want to connect it to your smartphone, Android, it, it only, from what I understand, supports Android smartphones, then you will need, first of all, read the instruction manual. There is quite useful stuff in it. Uh, you will need to download and install one of the apps on your Android device it was somewhere here, it felt like it was only two pages away <coughs> so there it is, that's Windroid Linker so make sure you don't make the same mistake I did do not download it first from a Google Play Store. You're actually going to have to scan this barcode here and install it from the dedicated website. And then it's going to work. For some reason, you know, that's the way it works. Uh, so, right, what I'm going to do now is I need to disconnect this computer here. Then I will need... Um, where did I left the OTG connector? There it is. So I need to go to Windroid Linker launch it so as you can see here it shows it is disconnected which is the case it is disconnected indeed so it is now connected one way to my laptop to my Lenovo laptop and another way I'm, I'm just connected OTG connect I'm going to connect it to my smartphone which in this case is Sony Xperia Z3 now, just gonna connect it again. So, once I plug it in, it should connect, and the GoBridge application on your computer should appear. Something like this. So, now, one of the coolest things what I liked about it. And I never used the mouse on Android device before, so for me it was pretty cool. Maybe for you isn't, because you probably using because you may have tried it before, but I didn't. So I think I need to press Alt S together. Then the mouse disappears here, and it should magically appear on my Android device. So there we go. There it is. I'm actually using my laptop to control the mouse on my Android device. It's not particularly easy to do it, but uh, it's still pretty cool. So some of the things I'm just going to show you. So let's try to type something. For example, let's go to my Twitter account. It's very unusual, so unusual to use mouse, but yeah, just click here and um, where's the mouse again? What's happening? Testing the Magic Hub.
and then well, it's, I'm so used to using my fingers and, and then you can just you know click tweet I don't think that you can use the I don't know you can actually use the hotkeys that's quite cool actually you can even use some of the hotkeys on your laptop to control um, your Android device so I think I've demonstrated more or less enough how you could connect it uh, more or less to from one laptop to another you can also connect it to Mac computer it uh, from what I see in instruction and on the box it supports the Windows operating systems, Mac operating systems and Android so it looks like you won't be able to connect it to your iPhone overall I'm very impressed it works without any problems for me but you may need to you may need to have to spend some time you know in order to set it up it, it, it took me about you know, because I was using it for the first time it took me a while to figure out how to you know connect things and operate them between the devices but it's not that hard and you should be able to get it sorted out so there we have it that was a look at Inetech HB 4009 USB 3.0 free port hub magical port and OTG port as well